Mountain Hunting Adventure. Episode, Hunting for Bazaar Ibex, Pasha's Heritage. The hunt is on. Okay. This time, Amon Amon is off to the magnificent Taurus Mountains to hunt an exceptional Bazaar Ibex. Yep. Yep. Amon Amon is once again perfectly prepared for the upcoming hunt. The rifle has been fine-tuned and the weather is excellent. Finally, the hunt can begin. Our stalk leads us over rough terrain to a river. Extreme caution is required when crossing. One wrong step and you could end up taking an involuntary bath. Situations like this make us realize how important it is to wear the right footwear. The river obstacle is well behind us, at least until the return trip. Now, we start our ascent of several hundred meters in very rocky and steep terrain. Today, we are with Kurshat Ekenler in search of a very special ibex. We are on the hunt for Pasha's heritage. The Ekenler brothers were able to confirm the presence of a magnificent Bazaar ibex. This one is very reminiscent of the world record holder known as Pasha in terms of its dominance and in the size of the trophy. The only question is just how strong he really is. The tension is naturally substantial. Until now, we have only known Pasha's successor from videos and pictures. From this footage, we can happily confirm that there is a very strong resemblance to Pasha Louis from Sane Consult accompanies us on our journey and aids our hunter with advice and practical support. Hopefully, the hunting gods will be kind to us today. Our elusive ibex is somewhere on the opposite slope. This is our second time today trying to catch a glimpse of the ibex. But unfortunately, he has not shown himself to us yet. The conditions are ideal for our hunter. The wind is consistent with a crosswind of between one and three meters per second. The distance is between 350 and 700 meters, and the tripod makes the shooting angle easy to handle. The only thing missing is the ibex. We have been observing his group through the trees for some time. Will he make an appearance? And if so, Will he offer us a good shot? Or maybe it will be just like yesterday, and we won't even catch sight of it. Unfortunately, our luck has taken a turn for the worst, and we don't spot the target at all. After crossing the river, we take a closer look at the footage of our ibex from the previous trip in 2020.
mounted. For this hunt, our hunter has chosen a Blaza R8. Okay. Yep. After the test shots, we drive on to the hunting ground. On the way, we once again discuss our options for the hunt. Korshat and Tamir Ekenler from Wild Hunting in Turkey and their team were able to confirm that due to their heavy snowfall, the ibex we were looking for has separated from its group and has been staying within the vicinity of a small cave for two days. Now, we need a bit of luck to finally spot him. Heute ist der 29. Januar, ein wunderschöner Tag, wir haben ein Kaiserwetter, da liegt wirklich viel Schnee hier rum und wir sind auf der Suche nach einem Monster, Besor Steinbock, den wir schon seit zwei Jahren kennen und vor einem Monat einmal versucht haben ihn zu bekommen. Leider hatte ich nur zwei Tage Zeit und wir konnten ihn nicht sehen und da müssten wir wieder abreisen. Da habe ich gestern einen Anruf bekommen, dass er jetzt runtergekommen ist in dem Schnee und ich hoffe, das wird ein einfacher Pirsch und auch ein einfacher Schuss. Der ist einfach riesig. Wir werden demnächst ja auch Videos und Fotos posten. Ich hoffe, wir kommen zum Schuss heute. So wünsche ich mir Glück. Alles Gute für dich, für dein kräftiges Weidenzeichen. Weiß man es, danke. Jawohl. Our quarry appears in our sights again and again, but unfortunately never offers our hunter a chance at a clean shot. The minutes turn into hours. The tension is rising. Will it come together today, or will Pasha's legacy escape us again? Now we have to get into position, keep focused, and exploit any opportunity for a shot. And then uh, yellow, mm -hmm. orange, and then goes like this, mm -hmm. and then yeah. smaller, narrow, yeah. and there are black spots. Yes. Very black. At last, movement behind the trees. That's him. That's our Ibex. Hopefully he gives us a chance to take a shot. Yeah. 
Hamon, Hamon. Jawohl. Traum. Jawohl. We enjoy ourselves after this exhilarating encounter. Surrounded by a beautiful mountain backdrop and sitting around a campfire, we have a little snack. Meanwhile, the other part of Korshat's team has already reached the ibex. The tension increases as they get closer. How big will the ibex really be? We will know in a few moments. When it finally lies in front of us, we can scarcely believe how substantial it really is.